<laughs> Go ahead. Hello, this is Larry Giroux, and my friend Sandy Reifler and I are here testing the static pressure and wattage of our various air filters. And I'm going to let Sandy take over from here. Oh, okay. I can tune that off anyway. Uh, hi, folks. I don't know if that's. Can you tell? If, can you tell if I'm in the uh, screen? I'll go over here and I'll look. Can you explain this motor to these guys? Uh, the motor is an ECM General Electric 2.5 motor that's used in the FE fan coil units. We're at it uh, is variable speed and it uses about normally about one quarter the power of a PSC motor. It's used on furnaces and fan coils on the Carrier Bryant uh, equipment line. I'm here at uh, Houston Carrier to demonstrate to people that it's important to change the air filters out because a higher static pressure on the filter or more dirt on the filter costs more money to operate the system. The filters are very cheap. The cost is a lot more expensive. And what I'm going to show you that is that uh, operating costs, operating costs uh, increase with clogged air filters. And so I'm here to help you understand uh, when to change out an air filter. You, there's, there's no way possible you can look at this filter and tell me when to change it out. But I'll be able to tell you based on airflow and delta P, pressure drop across the filter, and the most important thing is the particle count that's in the air, indoor air quality. So you'll be paying me to clean the air and help you determine when to change out your air filters. And I'm going to prove to you that you should change them out more than a 0.4 delta P or the three month contract or the once a month change. You'll change it out when either the air quality is worse in the room or in the school or in the building or when it's going to cost you too much money to operate the unit. Anyway, this is a MERV-8 filter we have inside and we're showing the wattage which is 200 watts. The difference between uh, the MERV-11 which was about 220 watts and the MERV-8 209 watts move in 875 CFM and the pressure drop on this is 0.36 inches so there's no reason why you shouldn't use a MERV 11 air filter in this particular system because you'll get uh, better particle removal with a MERV 11 and it's only 10 watt uh, cost difference 10 watts and 10 watts is like the little night light you have plugged into the hallway. Isn't that amazing? And that's with a special motor which is like four times more energy efficient than a regular PSC motor. Am I doing good? Doing great. Yeah, that's the deal. So we're reading 215 watts now. And here, uh, the air quality. Uh, I can't show that. Well, maybe I can. Can you get it up there? The particle count is going down. You got it? The particle count is getting, getting lower. We're removing half a micron lung damaging dust particles from the air. Why don't you sit it down on the ground? <laughs> 